Palaf, Wikipedia article audio. Palaf or palo is a dish in which rice is cooked in a seasoned broth. In some cases, the rice may attain its brown or golden color by first being sautéed lightly in oil before the addition of broth. Cooked onion, other vegetables, as well as a mix of spices, may be added. Depending on the local cuisine, it may also contain meat, fish, vegetables, pasta, and dried fruit. Etymology History Local varieties Armenia India Iran Central Asia Afghanistan Pakistan Azerbaijan Greece Caribbean Brazil Gallery Pilaf and similar dishes are common to Balkan, Middle Eastern, Eastern Europe, South Caucasian, Central and South Asian, East African, Latin American, and Caribbean cuisines. It is a staple food and a popular dish in Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bangladesh, Israel, Crete, India, Iran, Kazakhstan, Kurdistan, Kyrgyzstan, Nepal, Pakistan, Kenya, Tanzania, Zanzibar, Uganda, Tajikistan, Turkey, Xinjiang, and Uzbekistan. The English spelling is influenced by the modern Greek palaf which comes from the Turkish palaf, which in turn comes from Persian polo, Hindi pilo, from Sanskrit polka, which in turn, is probably of Dravidian origin. A Spanish dish, paella, traditionally a communal meal made from rice and fish, shellfish, rabbit, or chicken, cooked in a large pan, has similarities in recipe and methodology, but derives from a Valenkian word, out of the old French word pile for pan. The ancient Hindu text Mahabharata from the Indian subcontinent mentions rice and meat cooked together, and the word pulao or paleo is used to refer to the dish in ancient Sanskrit works, such as Ajavakaya Samti. Palaf was known to have been served to Alexander the Great at a royal banquet following his capture of the Sogdian capital of Marakanda. The first known recipe for palaf is by the 10th century Persian scholar Abu Ali ibn Sina, who in his books on medical sciences dedicated a whole section to preparing various dishes, including several types of palaf. In doing so, he described advantages and disadvantages of every item used for preparing the dish. Accordingly, Persians consider Ibn Sina to be the father of modern Palaf. Palo became standard fare in the Middle East and Transcaucasia over the years with variations and innovations by the Persians, Arabs, Turks, and Armenians. It was introduced to Israel by Bukharan and Persian Jews. During the period of the Soviet Union, the Central Asian versions of the dish spread throughout all Soviet republics, becoming a part of the common Soviet cuisine. In Armenia there are many varieties of pilaf, most notably Armenian rice pilaf. Vermicelli is first sautéed in butter, then rice is added and sautéed as well. Once golden brown, Chicken broth is added and brought to a boil. Once boiling, it is then simmered on low heat for 25 minutes. This recipe can be made with bulgur in place of rice. Another popular recipe is known as karmer plov. Karmer plov gets its color from tomatoes. Being part of the Soviet Union, Armenia also picked up a few pilaf recipes from Central Asia such as Uzbek pilaf. Known as pulao, palau, paleo, and pulav locally, the rice dish has been an integral part of Indian cuisine since the ancient era. 
The ancient Hindu text Mahabharata from India mentions rice and meat cooked together, and the word pulao or paleo is used to refer to the dish in ancient Sanskrit works, such as Ajavakaya Samti. A pulao is a dish consisting of rice and a mixture of either lentils or vegetables, mainly including peas, potatoes, French beans, carrots, or meat, mainly chicken, fish, lamb, pork or prawn. It is usually served on special occasions and weddings, though it is not uncommon to eat it for a regular lunch or dinner meal. It is considered very high in food energy and fat. A pulao is often complemented with either spiced yogurt or raita. Biryani is another rice dish in the Indian cuisine, similar to pulao, albeit with a different cooking method. The main distinction is that a biryani comprises layers of rice with meat or vegetables and it has more spices, the pulao is not layered and is cooked with light spices. Persian culinary terms referring to rice preparation are numerous and have found their way into the neighboring languages, polo, cello, kate, and tagine. There are also varieties of different rice dishes with vegetables and herbs which are very popular among Iranians. There are four primary methods of cooking rice in Iran. In Persian cuisine, rashi, a soup, or stock, is often served over pilaf. Central Asian, e.g. Tajik, and Uzbek plov or osh differs from other preparations in that rice is not steamed but instead simmered in a rich stew of meat and vegetables called zervak, until all the liquid is absorbed into the rice. A limited degree of steaming is commonly achieved by covering the pot. It is usually cooked in a kazan over an open fire. The cooking tradition includes many regional and occasional variations. Commonly, it is prepared with lamb, browned in lamb fat or oil and then stewed with fried onions, garlic, and carrots. Chicken pluv is rare but found in traditional recipes originating in Bokhara. Pluv is usually spiced with whole black cumin, coriander, barberries, red pepper, marigold, and pepper. Heads of garlic and garbanzo beans are buried into the rice during cooking. Sweet variations with dried apricots, cranberries, and raisins are prepared on special occasions. Although often prepared at home for family and guests by the head of household or the housewife, pluv is made on special occasions by the oshpaz, who cooks the national dish over an open flame, sometimes serving up to 1,000 people from a single cauldron on holidays or occasions such as weddings. Oji Neher, or morning pluv, is served in the early morning to large gatherings of guests, typically as part of an ongoing wedding celebration. The Uzbek-style pluv cooking recipes are spread nowadays throughout all post-Soviet countries and Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of China. In Afghan cuisine, Kabuli Pela, or Kabili Pela is made by cooking basmati with mutton, lamb, beef or chicken, and oil. Kabuli Pela is cooked in large shallow and thick dishes. Fried sliced carrots and raisins are added. Chopped nuts like pistachios, walnuts, or almonds may be added as well. The meat is covered by the rice or buried in the middle of the dish. The Kabuli Pela rice with carrots and raisins is very popular in Saudi Arabia where it is known as Ras Bukhari, meaning Bukharan rice. In Pakistan, pulao is a popular dish cooked with basmati rice and meat. Pulao is a rice dish, cooked in seasoned broth with rice, meat, and spices. A pulao is often complemented with raita. The rice is made in mutton or beef or chicken stock and an array of spices including coriander seeds, cumin, cardamom, cloves, and others. Mutton and beef have, with time, been replaced with chicken due to higher prices of mutton. 
The Sindhi Pulau in the province of Sindh, prepared with mutton or beef or chicken. It is prepared by Sindhi people of Pakistan in their marriage ceremonies, condolence meetings, and other occasions. Azerbaijani cuisine includes more than 40 different pluv recipes. One of the most reputed dishes is pluv from saffron-covered rice, served with various herbs and greens, a combination distinctive from Uzbek pluvs. Traditional Azerbaijani pluv consists of three distinct components, served simultaneously but on separate platters, rice, gara, and aromatic herbs. Rice is not mixed with the other components even when eating pluv. In the Greek cuisine, pluv is the fluffy and soft, but neither soupy nor sticky, rice that has been boiled in a meat stock or bouillon broth. In northern Greece, it is considered poor form to prepare pilaf on a stovetop, the pot is properly placed in the oven. Gamo pilafo is the prized pilaf served traditionally at weddings and major celebrations in Crete, rice is boiled in lamb or goat broth, then finished with lemon juice. Gamo pilafo though it bears the name is not a pilaf but rather a kind of risotto with creamy and not fluffy texture. In the Eastern Caribbean and other Caribbean territories there are variations of pilau which include a wide range of ingredients such as pigeon peas, green peas, string beans, corn, carrots, pumpkin, and meat such as beef or chicken, or cured pig tail. The seasoned meat is usually cooked in a stew, with the rice and other vegetables added afterwards. Coconut milk and spices are also key additions in some islands. A significantly modified version of the recipe, often seen as influenced by what is called arroz polo there, is known in Brazil as arroz de frango desfiado or incorrectly risotto de frango, shredded chicken rice, comma, chicken risotto. Rice lightly fried Salted and cooked until soft in either water or chicken stock is added to chicken stock, onions, and sometimes cubed bell peppers, shredded chicken breast, green peas, tomato sauce, shoyu, and optionally vegetables and slash or herbs to form a distantly risotto-like dish but it is generally fluffy, as generally, once all ingredients are mixed, it is not left to cook longer than 5 minutes. In the case shredded chicken breast is not added, with the rice being instead served alongside chicken and sauce supreme, it is known as arroz supreme de frango upm di fku, chicken supreme rice. Kabuli pala, a national dish of Afghanistan. Lubia polo, rice with green beans in Iran. OSH pluv a staple dish in Uzbek, Tajik, and Bukharan Jewish cuisine. Typical Turkish Palaf Rice with Arpa Suriyi Bengali Pulau, India Kashmiri Pulau, India Karnataka Vegetarian Palaf with Raita, India Soya Pulau, India Cello Rice that is carefully prepared through soaking and parboiling, at which point the water is drained and the rice is steamed. This method results in an exceptionally fluffy rice with the grains separated and not sticky, it also results in a golden rice crust at the bottom of the pot called tadig, polo, rice that is cooked exactly the same as cello, with the exception that after draining the rice, other ingredients are layered with the rice, and they are then steamed together, kate, rice that is boiled until the water is absorbed. This is the traditional dish of northern Iran, daimi, cooked almost the same as kate, except that the heat is reduced just before boiling and a towel is placed between the lid and the pot to prevent steam from escaping. Daimi literally means simmered. Veg Pulau, India Camel Meat Pulau, Pakistan